Tries throwing a lot of punches. My host, my best. What you're seeing in the ring is our best-selling humanoid robot, uh, Unity G1. Um, as you can see, the, it, it has human-like movements, and it, call, it can also dance, uh, do kung fu moves, and as you can see, it's kickboxing right now in the ring. Having robots in factories and households and helping people do the boring, dirty, and dangerous jobs is definitely our end goal. But it's going to take a few. It's going to take some time to get over there. Atlas is designed to be an industrial robot. We're building a robot that is flexible enough to do many jobs from dock door to dock door in a facility. The point of Atlas is to be general purpose long term. And so Atlas can learn over time how to do all kinds of different tasks. Here today, we're showing Atlas doing an automotive task first. We're showing it doing sequencing, which is a task that's done in logistics facilities and automotive plants. Atlas is putting parts in the order in which cars will be assembled so that the assembly line can work faster and be more reliable so that the cars that are produced are more and more reliable as they get out the door. AI has enabled us to go from bespoke training for individual tasks to being able to teach the robot how to learn and have more sort of onboard on intelligence in the robot from day one. So the process of going from unboxing the robot to getting it to do valuable work is much, much faster than it used to be. And because we're not doing that bespoke engineering to train the robot on how to do a task, we're able to actually open up the door a lot more quickly on the types of work that Atlas can do, which is why there's so much hype and excitement. Like seeing a robot do a cartwheel is really cool, but what you're actually seeing when you see a robot do a cartwheel is you're seeing how AI is enabling us to teach robots to do things that we've just never been able to teach them to do before.
Our first focus in industrial and we already have signed around 25,000 pre-orders uh, from retail, warehouses, uh, automotive industry, oil and gas, uh, and this is like a huge uh, labor shortages and uh, like uh, a lot of like millions of uh, essential jobs uh, uh, like remain f uh, unfulfilled. Uh, and uh, young people don't want to work in warehouses with uh, this boring repetitive stuff. And this is a uh, work for robots, not for humans. Uh, and we have like uh, millions of uh, this type of work. Hey there, I am Aria from Realbox. Je veux vous qu'on a vu juste avant et la dextérité à l'annonce c'est l'inverse. Ah, c'est tout servir pour les fabricants, faire de l'accueil pour les entreprises, faire de l'accompagnement sur ça. Allez, There's been a convergence in technology. We've had AI for a few years, and we've had sort of uh, what I would call unintelligent robots for many years. And now they finally have sort of combined those technologies where you get what we're presenting, which is an AI-powered humanoid robot. And occasionally causing existential crises. every cell phone. I can show you my fear expression. We're very different. We have a very different philosophy. Our robots are not meant to replace physical human labor. They're meant for human interaction. So customer service, entertainment, and companionship. And for that, we want robots that look very human and not like cyborgs. Many of these robots, what we see here, they cannot actually do useful things. They can dance, they can kickbox, they can do uh, flipbacks, yeah. Uh, but manipulation is one of the grand challenges of, of robotics, and they have to learn how to manipulate. And this is one of the, of the, of the crucial challenges in, in this area. In addition, of course, to safety. Nobody is talking about uh, the safety of the use of humanoid robots for example, in collaboration with humans in manufacturing or, or at home. And um, finally, maybe really the, the, the architecture, the cognitive architecture for this kind of embodied AI. AI which integrates body, mind, and interaction with the environment. And this is what we are still missing.